I won't let you down. This lesson is about oh, trust. Choose all the people you trust. This lesson is about trust. Choose all the people you trust. Mother or father. Stepmother or stepfather. A bully. Police officer. Let's see what the mother or father. This is someone that you would obviously trust. A stepmother or stepfather, of course, is someone that you would trust. What about a bully? You might want to trust a bully. It might not be the right decision. Only time will tell with that. And of course, the police officer, someone who's out there protecting our city and streets, but most importantly, that police officer is protecting us. And more importantly than that, we need to be honest with those police officers. Let's go on to the next. Who else do you trust? Grandparent. Stranger. Would you trust a stranger? Remember that we all know stranger, stranger, danger, danger, stranger. Is that how it goes? What's the first thing you need to do if someone came up to you that you did not know and said, why don't you come in the car with me? Your mommy called me and told me that I could take you home from school. You need to scream and run the other way. Never trust somebody you do not know. Not a stranger. How about... Teacher. Teachers, you're with... Five days out of the seven days of the week, of course you're going to trust your teacher. And friend. A friend. Let's talk about that for a moment. Do we really need friends? Of course we do. Is it important to have more than one friend? No, it's not. One true good friend is someone who you can trust and be honest with and tell anything about that you want to discuss and communicate with. So it's very important that you find that one special person in a friend that you can trust. You don't need five or ten friends to trust, just that one special one. And that's really all you need to go on throughout your life. Let's go to the next slide. Always be careful about who you trust. The people you trust should be people who will be there for you when you need them. Do you trust everyone? Think about why. Or why not? Would you yes. trust or no? no. <laughs> would you trust everyone? I would vote for no. Because I might not know that person. And even if you think that you're trusting someone and then they do something, that kind of takes away from that trust. So you can't trust everybody, but you try to give them the benefit of the doubt. Trust needs to be earned. Think about friends you trust. Choose thumbs up for things that show trust, and thumbs down for those that do not show trust. Click thumbs up to start. Thumbs up, here we go. A friend will keep secrets. Do you think that would be a thumbs up or thumbs down? I think a friend would keep secrets would be a thumbs up. A friend will help me when I need help. And I certainly would hope that a friend would help you when you need help. So that would be a thumbs up. A friend will tell lies about me. Oh my. If I had a friend that told lies about me, would that really be a friend? Thumbs down. And I hope you're all doing your thumbs down with Mrs. P. A friend will stand up for me. Absolutely. A friend is there for you through thick and thin. That would be a thumbs up. Get those thumbs up. How do you feel when you can't trust someone? How would you feel? Think about that, when you can't trust someone. I know how I would feel. Mrs. P would feel very, very sad if I couldn't trust somebody, especially someone who is a good friend or a family member or my teacher. I would feel very, very sad if I couldn't trust them. So how would you feel when you can't trust someone? I would be very, very sad, the sad face. Do you want others to be able to trust you? Of yes. Of course, or no. No. Of course you'd want someone to be able to trust you also. So the answer would be, do you want others to be able to trust you? Yes, I want people to trust me also. 